Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for tuning in. So in today's video, I am going to talk about sub for subbing and what sub for subbing is. So sub for subbing is basically when someone reaches out to you and asks, hey, will you subscribe to my channel? And in exchange, I will subscribe to your channel. Now, first and foremost, I just want to say I don't see anything wrong with sub for subbing. There's nothing wrong with sub for sub subbing if it's done the right way and if you have the right intentions when you are reaching out to people to sub for sub. When I first started for YouTube, I did sub for sub and I didn't really understand sub for subbing. I just knew that I wanted subscribers and I wanted subscribers fast. I wanted subscribers quick and I wanted to build up my channel quickly. So I wanted to run before I walked basically with my YouTube. I would go to the sub for sub YouTube channels where we're specifically for YouTubers or small YouTubers that wanted uh, sub for sub so basically people on there hey sub for sub I'll sub for sub and it was just an exchange of subbing for subbing so that's what I did and then also I would go to people's pages and I would say sub for sub will you subscribe to my channel the the basic stuff that you would normally see you know small youtubers do I decided that when I hit my 100 100th subscriber that I would stop the sub for sub I wanted to at that point started to pick up genuine subscribers and not people that will just subscribe and then end up unsubscribing once you subscribe to their channel. So that was basically the reason why I stopped sub, sub for subbing was because of that. People were subscribing only to get a subscription back and then unsubscribe to my channel. They were not viewing my content. Didn't really care anything about my channel. They just want the numbers. And at the time, that's what I was focused on were the numbers. And that was not a good move. But as a small YouTuber, you mean you don't know no better. So you just learn it as you go. So as you learn and as you go and grow with your channel, you start learning what works for your channel and what does not work for your channel. One thing I did notice about sub for subbing is bullying. There are sub, there are actual sub for sub bullies and I did not know that. Like people would say, you subscribe to my channel or you better subscribe to my channel. If you don't, I'm going to unsubscribe. Like they would just say it in a, in a just a, a nasty way. Like I can read text. I know when a text sounds nasty and that was just, it was just rude. You know, just the way some people would ask for you to subscribe to that channel and then they would get mean about it if you uh unsubscribe to their channel or you you better stay subscribed subscribe to my channel and stuff like that i was like no i i won't be doing this i'm not about to be bullied just to uh you know subscribe to somebody's channel or you know keeping a subscription i'm not about i'm not about to do that so i stopped that was another reason why i stopped the whole sub for sub thing um it was just getting a little tacky you know the way people were asking and just kind of bossing you and demanding you to subscribe to their channel so i didn't like that so i've been getting a lot of people that have been on my instagram that have direct messaged me commented on my channel youtube channel and also on the comments on my instagram and they would just put sub for sub, nothing else, just sub for sub or sub for sub question mark. In the beginning of YouTube, I did not um, mind that. It didn't bother me. But for some reason, I feel some type of way when people just come to my channel and I say sub for sub. Like just sub for sub. Like, you know, it's it just, I don't know. I just don't care to really respond only if, and I'll get to that in just a moment, but there is an exception to the rule if you say sub for sub but i'll get that get to that in just a moment but there are certain ways that you can ask without just saying sub for sub i don't i just think sub for sub the way people say it it just to me it just sounds tacky now you know so when you've grown in your channel and you're trying to accomplish things with your channel you're bringing content in a passionate way and you're passionate about what you're doing and you want to see your channel genuinely grow there are some things that I just want, I don't want on my channel. There are some channels I don't want to follow because I don't want to say that they're dead channels, but they're just channels I'm not interested in. I don't honestly care about the numbers, to be quite honest. I know I've set goals for myself to reach certain amount of subscribers, but I'm talking about genuine subscribers. So subscribers that, you know, like what I have to bring or they share same or similar content that I have. Those are subscribers that, you know, I don't mind uh, subbing for subbing or, you know, reaching out to me or whatever because we share the same thing. So we're going to watch the same thing and we're going to give each other feedback and we're going to be engaged in each other's channels. 
That's what I'm talking about. Genuine subscribers. Subscribers that are going to watch your content and help your channel to grow when they're liking, when they're watching. Because as you know, YouTube, YouTube has this thing where you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time. You have to have 1,000 subscribers. So there are rules to YouTube um, and, and regulations and restrictions and all these things that you have to follow in order for you to get one recognized, monetized, recommended, sponsorships and things like that. There are people out there that don't care about, you know, generally growing their YouTube channel. I don't really know why they have a YouTube channel if all they want is just subscribers, but they don't want anyone generally watching their content. Me, on the other hand, I am monetized. I have people that are watching my channel, where they be, you know, from small, regular people to big companies and corporations. I have companies that are following me right now that I never thought would even recognize me. I have had companies to reach out to me and say, hey, I saw your video. We like your video. I've had a company reach out to me and say, hey, I've got products, you know, that we would like for you to try. So my channel is going in a different direction and it's a good direction and I want to keep it that way. So I don't want to ruin it with, you know, just um, blowing up my numbers blowing up my subscription numbers without any substance or without anybody watching like i don't that that's not a good look when you have a boatload of subscribers but then you see like people are not really watching your stuff so i look at that when i go to people's channel when they say sub for sub or will you subscribe to my channel the first thing i do is i look at um your subscription i see what your channel is about and I also look at the views because if I see that you're banging it out with subscribers but nobody's watching your stuff, it's just not a good balance. It, it just doesn't look right. The most important rule about sub for sub is sub for sub with an intention of people actually watching your content. If you are reaching out to people and asking for a sub for sub, let it be the people that have similar or like content that you have. It does not make sense for me to reach out to gamers or I don't know, I just say gamers as an example. Nothing wrong with gamers, but I'm not a gamer. But it would not make sense for me to reach out to a gamer and say sub for sub because the gamers channel is solely about games. That's what they do. That's how they make money if they're monetized is about games. I kind of doubt that they will be interested in hair videos if they are a true, you know, hardcore gamer. So I would not reach out to a gamer and say sub for sub because it don't make sense. I'm not going to watch their games. They're not going to watch my hair. So it don't make sense. So if you're going to sub for sub, do it with someone or do it for someone that has similar or like content as yours because there's a higher chance that they're going to watch your content, you're going to watch their content, and it's going to recommend other channels that are similar to theirs and vice versa that's going to cause other people to see you in that arena or in that area of, of um, videos uh, that you're focused on. They're going to see you and they're going to go, hey, she's got similar content as mine or he's got similar content as mine. Let me go ahead and subscribe or let me go ahead and watch what they have. You know, I can learn something from them. They can learn something from me. So there is a good side to sub for sub if you're doing it for the right reasons and for the right intentions of growing your channel and not just swelling your channel up with a, a bunch of subscriber with a large subscriber account. And there's no views because that doesn't help your channel. Sub for sub can be a problem. It can be a problem when you get to the point to where you are monetized. When you are monetized, and this is very important if you don't learn anything else from this video because I had to learn this as well. You get to the point where YouTube or Google AdSense is paying you money for your content and you got the subscribers but you don't have the views. You get paid off of views, you get paid off of subscribers, you get paid off of, there's a, a, a bunch of things that factor in how you get paid and views is one of them. Why would someone want to pay you anything if nobody's watching? So if people are not watching you, if they don't care about your channel, that's only hurting your channel and it's also hurting your money. If you're not making the money you would like to make on YouTube, that will hurt you really bad if you are monetized 
and people are not watching your content. That is horrible. You might as well not even have a channel if that be the case. I mean, if you don't care and you just want to have subscribers just to say you have subscribers, so be it. It's your channel, you can do what you wanna do. You know, not to say that you're trying to make a full blown, uh, blown business out of YouTube, which they possibly could, but I'm just saying those that are trying to take their channel in a more professional direction, um, cause you know, for some people that's an extra change in their pocket. It's extra money that they can pay a bill with or do other things with. This is a, an extra source of income for a lot of people and doing very well at it. So, you know, don't hurt your pockets. Don't let other people hurt your pockets because they're not, you know, watching your content and care less about your content. So I just want to share those things with you about the whole sub for sub, and I hope you gained something from it. I hope you've learned from it. I hope you can take some things away and just kind of reconsider the whole sub for sub the next time you reach out to someone and you ask, you know, for that subscription. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it, gained something from it that you can use towards your YouTube channel just going forward. So if you like this video, please don't forget to do the normal, comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys. Hey, no, no.